When we think of Hitler in the war, people generally think of Hitler at the Eagle's Nest, Eva Brown's home movies, or they think of him perhaps in a bunker in Berlin. But in reality, he spent over 800 days at the Wolf's Lair. It was by far the most used of all his headquarters. This is his actual bunker. And it really looks like kind of an Aztec pyramid or some Egyptian structure from, from ancient times. Is it's just so monumentally huge, gigantic. At the heart of Hitler's bunker is a tiny bedroom where the Fuhrer sleeps. Around it is a warren of offices and walkways. A concrete roof more than seven meters thick encases the building. A layer of gravel protects the bunker from bomb blasts, while thick steel doors seal it from chemical attacks. Built like an Egyptian tomb, Hitler's bunker is nearly indestructible. No windows, Every, the ventilation and the oxygen had to be brought in by a whole ventilation system. The thickness of the walls, the dankness of it, made it just such a grim and miserable place to be. It really is reflective of Hitler's mentality, of his paranoia. Being impenetrable is not enough for a paranoid Hitler. He wants the site to be invisible. So workers fill the roof with tons of soil and plant it with shrubs and trees. They drape the concrete shell in camouflage netting to disguise the walkways around it. The site blends seamlessly into the forest. 